Weather with Grant Dade is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Alert action day due to the heat index being this high was about three years ago. Uh, so we get this about every three to five years. We'll get this where we'll get a oppressive summer rain, if you will, and then a heat dome builds on top of that. And that's what's causing this right here. So tomorrow's heat index trend. Look at eight o'clock in the morning. 89 already. And you can see by the lunch hour 104 and then by the late afternoon hours. That's when it really starts reaching that dangerous category, getting above 115. What's happening is we have all that soil moisture, especially from Perryville down to Cape Girardeau over into western Kentucky. There's just a big pool of water that's sitting in the ground. Sun comes up, it evaporates the water. That's usually not a bad deal, but this week we've got a heat dome over us, meaning it's hotter than average as it evaporates that water. And that's what gets us to these extremely high heat indices. So the good news is after three days or so, the air mass will dry out a little bit as the sun does its work on that soil moisture and the heat index will gradually lower as we head later in the week, even though the actual air temperature will gradually go up. Interesting what water vapor can do to the temperature and how you feel. It's dry out there, so let's get right to the uh, forecast. Not a lot going on other than a few high clouds from time to time. And it's going to be hot out there again. Lots of sun again, evaporating all that soil moisture that's just piled on here with all the heavy rains we've seen across the central parts of the heartland and even places that didn't get a lot of heavy rain. Unfortunately, you're having to deal with it as well because this low level moisture comes up and it just kind of spreads out across the whole area. Dew point right now in Perryville is 86 degrees. That's about as high as you will ever see it. And that is miserable. And if you live in Perryville, you step outside, you know what I'm talking about. It feels horrible. Let's take a look at your heat index for tomorrow with some stations on the map as well. Look at this. We start off in the mid 80s during the early morning hours. Again, by the lunch hour, we are in the low, well, between 100 and 108 degrees. And then by the late afternoon hours, we're peaking well above 110 to 115. And again, some of the models have been underestimating the dew points. So that 112 in Perryville may get close to 120 again tomorrow. Unfortunately, I doubt enough soil moisture will be gone tomorrow. All right, actual air temperatures. Yeah, you know, this is not unheard of for this time of year, low to mid 90s. We've seen this plenty of times. The problem is all the moisture that's in the ground being evaporated, making the heat index tremendous. So each afternoon, the heat index will go down slightly, but the actual air temperature goes up because the air mass is drier. It's allowed to heat more. But look at this as we head towards next week. Some relief is on the way. 